trying to protect all of us because I didn't want them to kill us. Like, even though this person just did, just did this to me, mm -hmm. my first reaction still was to try to save us. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't want to see anybody die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just said, trying to save y'all from I the stepped police. On glass. <laughs> so when I see people trying to use that against me, like trying to act like I'm lying, oh, she stepped on glass, she never got shot. I'm the one who said I stepped on glass. I was lying to protect all of us. Mm -hmm. And I, sometimes I wish I really would have never said that. You wish you would have just told the truth. I wish I would have told the truth, but I, if it saved all of us from dying, then that's just probably what it was meant to be. None of this makes sense. What it do, man? It's your boy 100, and we back in this. Hey, we back in this, man, and uh, we back at it. Megan the Stallion, you know what I'm saying? She sat down with Gail King, I guess, to, uh, you know, talk about the incident once again and give her opinion and, 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 and tell what happened, you know what I'm saying? She said what happened before. You know, we was we was flip flop. We ain't really believe her. We don't know what you're talking about. It ain't making math. It ain't making sense, right? Tory Lanez went on IG Live and 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 kind of tried to give his version of the story or tried to shed some light. But you know, he he can't really talk because he the one that's on trial. He the one that's facing charges. So we are gonna tap in and see what she got to say, man. You know what I'm saying? We we on the side of truth and we on the side of what makes sense. I ain't picking no Meg side, no Tory side. What makes sense? That's what we on. I think this is a CBS video, so I don't know whether or not they're going to try to block this video or not. So if it's blurred out, if I edited the video, that's the reason. I'm going to try to upload it regular. But if they block it, then I'm going to I'm gonna have to blur it. I'm going to have to do something to it so y'all can actually see it. But anyway, let's tap in. I've been like this all my life. I've always been confident. I've always been loud. I've always been outgoing. Like... I've always just enjoyed entertaining. Yeah. When I look now, I'm like, dang, we really did this. Mm -hmm. When did you know you were good at this? I ain't even watched the Coachella joint. I feel like I wrote my first like rap when I was seven, and I didn't tell my mama, well, I did tell my mama the rap, but I didn't tell her I wanted to be a rapper, but mm -hmm. I saw her rapping, and I would go to the studio with her, and I would like sit in the waiting room, waiting at the door, listening to what she in there saying, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's on fire. I like that. <laughs> girl, I could do that at seven. I could do that. And when I got to college, everybody just knew me as the stallion, and she rapped, and I was like, okay, this is my identity. Yes, this is what yeah. we wanted. H-Town Razor, H-Town Razor. Damn, I'm so proud to be your H-Town Razor. Five years after Megan Thee Stallion up. posted the Stormroom video, down. she made her debut on the Billboard Hot 100 list with the song Big Old Freak. That same year, her mother passed away. She had already lost her father when she was just 15. I asked her what she had learned from her parents, a question that made her emotional. I didn't mean to make you cry. I was just curious about the impact and effect they've had on your life. They were my best friends. It was only the three of us all the time. I had heard somebody say that Gail King ain't for the culture. Gail King ain't for the people. Gail King ain't for black people. I, I seen somebody say that. I don't know how true that is. I ain't even got no, I can't even like recollect no Gail King news, but I know something happened recently on the, on the past couple of years. I can't remember though. Like when I went to school, I feel like it was a little different with me interacting with other kids. So like, they would kind of pick with me a little bit. Like, I was so tall already. They just really let me know, like, you can't never, you can't ever let somebody else, somebody else's insecurities make you insecure. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy. In May 2020, Megan Thee Stallion's hit song, Savage, is inescapable. And so is she. Savage is, is everywhere. You are a huge success. Which brings us to July uh, 12, 2020. Let's go there, Megan. That night changed everything for you. Rapper Tory Lanez has been charged with shooting artist Megan Thee Stallion during an argument. Megan Thee Stallion hit by multiple gunshots. There was an argument in multiple the Multiple gunshots. It, it was an argument because I was ready to go and everybody else wasn't ready to go. Mm -hmm. But that's like normal yes. friend stuff. Like, yeah. we fuss about silly, silly stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. But...
I never put my hands on anybody. I never raised my voice too loud. Like this was one of them times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated to right. the way that it did. Can you just briefly walk us through what happened that night? It starts you at a party at Kylie Jenner's house. I had went there and we were just hanging out and I was ready to go because I had been there all day. So you guys end up in a car. You, Tory Lanez, your friend at the time, Kelsey, and his driver slash security. Mm -hmm. Tory Lanez, whose real name is Daystar Peterson, is a Grammy-nominated rapper and singer from Canada. Kelsey Harris was one of Megan Thee Stallion's best friends from Houston. There was an argument, and you get out of the car, right? At that point, the argument wasn't even with me. Like, the argument was with the two people in the back seat. What? <laughs> Bro, she just said she didn't raise her voice. She said the argument ain't even had nothing to do with her. You didn't raise your voice. Argument had nothing to do with you. How you end up shot, cousin? Let's hear this. Let's hear this. So I asked the driver to pull the car over. Like, I'm done with this. And I should have stayed out of the car. Like, I should have not got back in the car. Mm -hmm. And they was like, Megan, just get back in the car. We almost there. Like, just get back in. Mm -hmm. So I get back in the car. It's like it's getting worse. The like, arguing in the car. The arguing in the car is getting worse, and I don't want to be in this car no more. Like, because I see it's getting crazy. Mm -hmm. So I get out the car, and it's like everything happens so fast. Yeah. And all I hear is this man screaming. Is he said dance, and he starts shooting, and I'm just like, oh my god. Tell, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Where in this story, dog? Do you hear a motive to get shot? Just give us a motive. <laughs> Tell me what the motivation would be to shoot you if you're not even in the argument and you would have got out the car, got back in, and you, you getting out again. How 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 are you how are you getting shot at multiple times? Why are you being told to dance, bitch? Can we get a motive? You ain't clearing no air, cousin. On the car, Megan. He is you? standing up over the window, okay. shooting, uh -huh. and. Just to let y'all know, bro, I don't watch and rewind it <laughs> like three times. I'm trying to like, I'm un I'm I'm trying to be non-biased. I ain't picking no sides. I'm listening to this with open ears. It just sounds so. It sounds so ridiculous. And sometimes in life, stories are ridiculous, and they happen to be true, and they're ridiculous. But this sounds ridiculous. This sound you he you first of all, you said he wasn't arguing with you at all. He wasn't even in the argument. They arguing with each other in the back. And then you get out and he stand up over the window and shoot you multiple times and say, dance, bitch. So I ain't saying nobody lying. I ain't saying nobody telling the truth. I'm listening. And it's just like, it sounds so like off the wall, off all the walls, bro. I move too quick. Like, cause I'm like, oh my God, if I take the wrong step, I don't know if he can shoot something that's like, super important i don't know if he could shoot me and kill me like were you afraid for your life at that I time i was really scared because i had never been shot at before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i looked down at my feet because i wasn't even the adrenaline is pumping so hard i'm not sure if he hit me like i feel it but i don't understand what's happening so i looked down at my feet and i'm like oh my god like i'm really bleeding mm -hmm. So I like drop down and I crawl in somebody's driveway. Mm -hmm. Like I can't believe you shot me. <laughs> and what is he saying, Tory Lane saying? He's after apologizing. He's he I'm so sorry. Please don't tell nobody I'll give y'all a million dollars if y'all don't say nothing. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you offering me money right now? Help me. Like, and if you sorry, just help me. Like, but at that moment. I offer y'all, I give y'all a million dollars if y'all don't say nothing. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. I'm trying to think like maybe like what if my man was tripping and was like, you know what? I'm finna shoot at her because it's funny, and I don't mess around and and ricochet something or you know what I'm saying. But then her foot look like a like a cut, a foot look like my foot when I cut my foot open, and it's 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 I'm trying to I'm trying to. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to inspect the gadget this thing, you know what I'm saying? Scooby doing the game. 
I don't I don't I don't know who's I don't I don't know who's in under the mask, bro. I don't know who's up under the mask. Moment. We didn't even make it to to the house. Like somebody had already called the police and it was like so many of them. It was helicopters. I was like, oh my God, we all about to die. Like the George, the George Floyd incident had just happened. The police are definitely very much shoot first, ask questions after. So mm -hmm. I'm like, it's a hot gun in the car. I'm bleeding. I've been shot. They about to kill somebody. Like something bad is about to happen. <laughs> So somebody hears the gunshots, they call the police. The police come and they say what to you? They tell everybody to get out, get the, out car. the car. TMZ obtained video from that night. And it, you could see the footage of me in the <laughs> swimsuit, right. living back with feet bleeding. And they say to you, what happened here? I don't remember everything they said to me, but I remember them asking me what's happening, what, what happened to you. And I didn't want them to kill any of us mm -hmm. or shoot any of us. Mm -hmm. So I just said, I stepped on glass mm -hmm. because I didn't Why want- Why did you say that? Why? Y'all ever seen Gone Girl? This just reminded me of that scene. I ain't saying what happened in that scene is what is going on. But if you, if you know the scene I'm talking about when the, my man went on the news, anyway. Why didn't you say I don't, you shot me? I ain't seen what's going I, on. For some I reason, I was just trying to protect all of us because I didn't want them to kill us. Like, even though this person just did, just did this to me, mm -hmm. my first reaction still was to try to save us. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't want to see anybody die. Mm -hmm. So I just said, trying to save y'all from I the police. On glass. So when I see. People trying to use that against me, like trying to act like I'm lying. Oh, she stepped on glass. She never got shot. I'm the one who said I stepped on glass. I was lying to protect all of us. Mm -hmm. And I, sometimes I wish I really would have never said that. You wish you would have just told the truth. I wish I would have told the truth, but I, if it saved all of us from dying, then that's just probably what it was meant to be. None of this makes sense. Mm -hmm. So when you told the police you stepped on glass, did they believe you? I don't know. So how did you go from the glass? Did you go to the hospital? So right they took that? me straight to the, to hospital, the hospital and the police questioned me. And I said, it was just glass. You still stuck with that I story. I stuck with it, it was glass. And right as the officers were like, okay, we done with this, we leaving. The doctor came in and he was like, you know, you got bullets in both of your feet. like." You got fragments in this foot, and it's like right on the back of your Achilles. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, there is a medical report that says that there were bullet uh, that you had been shot, mm -hmm. and the medical report also says that. Let's run these photos back, cousin. Hold on. Like, you got fragments in this foot, and it's like right on. Why we keep seeing the same foot every time? We keep seeing the same foot every the time. Back of your She's Achilles. Feet. Mm -hmm. And I'm like. There is a medical report that says that there were bullet uh, that you had been shot, mm -hmm. and the medical report also says that to this day you still There's have bullet, still bullet fragments, fragments in, in your my foot. feet. And there are still many people, as we sit here today, Megan, that don't even believe you were shot. The, there is um, a hot gun in the car. Yeah. What? What else? What? What happened? In text messages obtained. There was one thing that um. We had questions about we was we was wondering why why the hospital how the hospital lost the fragments. I work in a hospital. I work in a lab in a hospital. They bring me bullet fragments. We lock them in a lock box, locked up. Can't nobody get to them. And when they hand them over, you got to sign. It got to be two signatures, two copies. Copies stay with the fragments in that lock box. How do you lose that? Uh, again, I ain't, I ain't saying nobody lying. I ain't saying nobody lying. I'm trying to find the truth in two people telling their versions. Cause you know, that's always, you always going to be biased on when you're on your story. Like nobody going to tell a hundred percent absolute truth in their story. Like they're going to, they're going to make it where they look a little better. You know what I'm saying? By CBS news, Kelsey Harris, the other woman in the car texted Megan's security guard saying help. Tori shot Meg. I really what thought text at? that we were all Kelsey Harris, the other woman in the car, texted Megan's security guard saying, help, 
Tori shot Meg. I really thought that we were all friends. And it's sometimes I feel like I put the blame on myself because when my mom passed, I just felt like I was looking for some type of family environment and I was letting so many people in and I didn't care who it was. I just wanted to feel like I got family and I got people that care about me and just I could hang out with everybody and I, I was just going through it. What was the nature of your relationship with Tory Lanez? Because he has led, led people to believe that it was a sexual relationship, that it was, uh, that you two were dating? What was the nature we of We were your... not dating. We what were really name? close. We were friends. We hung out like every day. And his mom passed too. So when I felt like we were bonding over, over that. that. And did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Yeah, yeah. Did you have, <laughs> did you, Megan, did you have a sexual relationship <laughs> with Tory Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um, I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tory. So why do you think he's putting out the story that the two of you had a relationship and that you're making the whole thing up? I think that he is trying to deflect from the fact that he c committed a crime. Tory Lanez pleaded not guilty to assault and weapons charges related to the shooting. We asked his attorney about Megan's allegation. I'm lost though because your own homie, your own homie said you backdoored her. She been lying this whole time? And where did he get this text from all of a sudden? All of a sudden, it's a text that says verbatim what happened. <laughs> all of a sudden, bro, two years later, a text message just appears. He did it, point blank. All of a sudden, CBS, CBS got it, though. Come on, blood. ...in this story. She responded that they look forward to addressing Miss Pete's claims, including her inconsistencies, discrepancies, and omissions when his case goes to trial later this year. How has your life changed since you were shot? I feel like my anxiety is worse. I feel like my relationship with people is, it's gotten very cold because I'm not as trusting as I, I used was, to be. I was be. gonna ask you, is it hard for you to trust people? Like, I got this wall and I don't want to make any friends and I'm trying to be as nice as I can to everybody. My, I don't even probably, new people, I probably don't even hold a conversation longer than 30 minutes because I feel like every time I'm talking, I'm like on the verge of tears and I don't want to have to explain to strangers why I'm crying. Yeah, yeah. Half the time I just want to pick up the phone and call my mama and be like, what do I do? Like, <laughs> it's too much. Mm -hmm. I feel crazy. I'm sad, like, and I feel like I have to hold it in because I have to be strong for so many people. What do you say to people that still don't believe that you were actually shot? I don't think any of this is for them. Like, it's for me. Like, I know this happened to me. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather it play out in court and the facts come out and everything comes out than me having to plead my case. And. I, I'm a victim. Like, I'm the victim. Like, I don't, I'm not defending myself against anything. Like, something happened to me. And following a pretrial hearing earlier this month, Tory Lanez was taken into custody and later released on, on bail. A judge ruled that he had violated protective orders, including one that prevents him from sharing information obtained through the criminal proceedings. An attorney for the other friend in the car that night, her name is Kelsey Harris. She told, he told CBS News, my client is a private person, does not wish to make a public statement at this time, and added, I can assure you that my client has not been paid a dime by any party involved to remain silent, as suggested in social media posts. We also reached out to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office about this case. They told us this. We believe the evidence substantially supports the charges and allegations, that the evidence will be borne out in court. Now, after that, the, 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 the case and the situation looks very favorable for Megan, right? But I'm trying to figure out what was what was the motivation for this um, interview right now? Why does she have this interview right now? What was the what was the what was the point of that in this interview right now? Because you done tweeted about it, you don't went on IG live about it. Now you had to have a sit down about it. All of a sudden we got this text message that we ain't never heard of before. Still not I ain't saying, still not saying she lying. I'm just trying to figure out what was the motive to do this right now. Right now, why would you do this? It just reminds me of that of that scene from Gone Girl, bro. I might I might insert it in here, dog. Where like 
Never mind. Never mind. I ain't gonna even explain it. But I don't know, man. Um, like I said many times before, man. I hope. Hopefully, the guilty party is found to be guilty, and the innocent party is found to be innocent. After she done told this story five, six, seven times, like we, it's still and no, and no point of this, no point of this, does it make sense? Like that's the only issue here. That's the only issue here. She on in the interview crying, uh, expressing her feelings. You know what I'm saying? Saying how she feel. You know what I'm saying? Telling her story. Right? Okay. Cool. We can feel that. But the story just don't make sense. You telling us you weren't even in the argument. So why you get shot? Your homegirl all the way uncooperative. She ain't talked to you since. You ain't say nothing about that. She asked you a question about what did, what did the police say? You ain't had no answers about what the police said, what she was talking about with the police, none of that. They say it's bullet, bullet fragments, but they lost them. How you do that in the hospital? Say you was shot in both feet. We keep seeing the same foot. We keep seeing the same foot. It just don't make sense, but you know what? It ain't gotta make sense. When they go to court and they show evidence, whoever is guilty, hopefully will be found guilty, innocent, found innocent. Even though it don't compute, it ain't for me to compute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, uh, let me know how you feel about this in the comments below, man. Do, do, does any of this make sense to you, man? Does any of this make sense to you, bro? Do you feel like I'm victim blaming? Even though I'm not picking no side here. You feel like I'm victim blaming? Do you feel like black men don't protect black women? Do you feel like this was real? Do you feel like this was to promote something? Because the timing of it is kind of funny, in my opinion. And it's crazy that Tory can't say a thing about this. Tory can't say nothing about this, bro. He got to sit there and just eat this. Which I mean, if he's found guilty, then it's warranted, right? But if he's found not guilty, then dang, bro, you had to just sit and just get drug this whole time. And then the way some certain things was worded was very strategic. Anyway, uh, anyway, man, we're going to find out. We're going to find out here soon in these next couple months, whenever it go down. We're going to find out what, what, what really went down in these streets because we've been confused for two years. But anyway, man, um, as always, you know what I'm saying? Clothes for sale in the description. The gear I use to make these videos is linked down in the description. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to 3K. You know what I'm saying? So if you're watching and you're not sub, tap on in with your mans. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm trying to upload at least two to three times a day now. I done picked up the pace. I done picked the pace up. You feel me? So keep tapping in with me, dog. Appreciate all that love. And I'll see y'all in the next one.